Margot has some um, Christmas hair clips, which I have borrowed from her. Very festive. Hi everybody. So today's Vlogmas entry is slightly different. We had planned a really lovely festive day with the baby, but... We have, we actually, it's so sad. And I have a, um, I have a proper like spreadsheet of all the different festive things we were going to do. <laughs> I've even colour coordinated right. it, red, gold, green, obviously. Of course. But it's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. We have a very poorly, well, I say very poorly. Very relative. She's, she's it's relative, but she's not, she's not herself and yeah. it's not fair to... To have her on camera or to do much when she's not. We're just staying in the house, basically. She's got a thing called hand, foot and mouth, which is like um, this horrible, like, pimply type itchy rash on her hands, feet and mouth. And it's just poor little thing is underway. Yeah, but we they, think, they think she's also got strep. Well, I took her to the GP. Right. They think she also has strep A, which is going around. So she's also got a sore throat. So yeah. she's just, she when she's awake, we're just... Sitting, having cuddles. She yeah. likes Frozen. We watch a lot of Disney Plus. Yeah. So in the meantime, uh, rather than going out and about and doing anything festive, I have gone to Instagram and I've asked you guys to ask Sarah and I some questions so we can do like a festive Q and A. If someone hasn't asked it, I'm going to ask it now. Go on. What would be your chocolate of choice, like Christmas tin? Obviously, you've got like oh, quality like street right. roses, heroes. Celebrations, obviously not. I well, I love heroes and I love celebrations. No. Your lipstick on your teeth. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, I love heroes and I love celebrations, but they're not the festive ones, are they? No. The festive ones are Quality Street or roses. It kind of comes down to those two for me. They both have pros and cons. Quality Street are the green one, the green triangle, the green one, the purple one, the um. Actually, a lot of quality street ones I don't like are the ones with like, you don't like the, fruity. Yeah, you don't like the orange or the strawberry. But the same goes for, for roses. I do like a caramel one. What would you do? Roses or quality street? Maybe quality street. Okay. I just love the green triangle. Would you rather have Christmas pudding or mince pie? Oh, mince pies every time. I love mince pies. Um, the ones I bought the other day that had the, the like yeah. almondy ones. Yeah. Oh, they were uh, good. Were they marzipan on top of it. They were like a marzipan. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They didn't last long, did they? No. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. How are you planning to manage the mystery of Santa with Marco? Do you remember what age you were when you realised that? I've got big sisters. It was ruined for me quite yeah, young. Yeah, mine was ruined from really, really young. That I remember it really vividly. I must have only been six or seven and my older brother he just had the devil in him that Christmas. I could have put and money he, on the fact it was James. Yeah, he had the devil in him that Christmas because he kept... First he told me what I was getting for Christmas, which was that, <laughs> that doll's house that I have. Still got that, right? Yeah, yeah I still got that doll's house. And I kept going on and on about it and my older brother just got so fed up that he went, of course Santa knows, Santa's mum and dad. And I was like, really gutted. And then he kept... all, And I didn't believe him and all Christmas Day he kept saying, isn't it funny that Santa has the same wrapping paper as mum and dad? So the answer to the question, I guess, then, is to keep Margot away from Uncle James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I we'll know, do. That was a, a right old detail. <laughs> Matching tree aesthetic or unique, slightly kitschy ornaments? I think there's something really nice about having ornaments that have kind of grown with you as a family grows and you collect them. Right. Like every year my mum buys an ornament for all of the grandchildren from wherever. And they never, obviously they never match because they're different no. to the one from the year before. We've got... Excuse me, I just had a Fanta. That really makes you like. <laughs> We've got these ornaments that my my best friend Han uh, Hannah has made. Margaret, yeah, these cute. little like wooden. So they're pretty kitsch. I say kitsch. I think that pre Margot, we'd have we had the same decorations and we just bought them out every year and they were pretty uniform. Um, but now we've got the kid. Christmas is all about the kid. Do you ask each other what you want for Christmas or is it a surprise? This year we're just kind of. We're pairing back, we've just moved back home. Right. Also, Margot's so little, she doesn't understand Christmas, so we've got her one big gift. We've got then, one big, shall I go and get it and show it? Yeah, okay. I actually, um, I started doing some Christmas wrapping earlier, which will probably appear in a later video, um, and I showed two or three of the things that I've started wrapping, but we've got Margot one big gift, and then we're gonna donate for her. Yeah, this is the gift that we bought her. Um, this is the, Duna, is it Likey? Licky? Licky? Licky trike. We had the Duna car seat for her, which is brilliant when we were traveling. Essentially, it's a car seat. You take it out of the car, you press the button, and wheels come out, so it's like a mini push chair. Uh, this is basically a trike that will see your kid through from, it says on it somewhere, the ages. 
basically it's five in one, so it grows with your kid. And mm. I think it's oh, really- Oh, here you go, it's on the side here. It goes, it goes up to like 36 months. Yeah, it folds really tiny. She can sit on it, we can push her along and we, we can control the steering while she's tiny. As she gets bigger, she can then pedal it and steer it herself. So I think she'll really, really like it. This is kind of our one main gift. We might get her a few other things. Oh, should we do the giveaway now? Because we're talking Christmas gifts. Yeah. I'm excited about this giveaway. I think this is one of our best. If you're looking for Christmas gifts, um, we have a really good one for you here. This is a Tony box. Um, it's really, really lovely. Essentially, it's like an audio toy, right? So you've got this box itself, but you get these figures, that's a dinosaur one, called Tonys. This one is a, a Moana one. Um, and essentially, they all do different things. So at the moment, Margot loves Moana, but probably because I sing it to her a lot. I think she likes the music the most. I sing to her shiny all the time. Yeah. And um, you're welcome. I know all the words. So get on the sofa, jump I've around. Actually, you know, having just said, oh, we've got her nothing. I've got her. I've got her another. Um, another one of these. Another Tony. Tony. I got her a Frozen one because she likes the songs. This was actually on our list to get Margot, and then um, Tony's reached out because I've been working with them, and they gifted this one. We bought one for my niece Bobby last year. She adores it, and what's wonderful is it kind of grows with your kid. So um, Moana, put it on. Don't know if you can hear that. We've got it turned up quite low. She'll wake up to hear the song and dance. I see what's happening, yeah. So you've got music ones. Uh, this one is a National Geographic one. Probably she's a bit too young for this, but it's dinosaurs. But basically this tells you about dinosaurs. There are, we've got Paddington, we've got the Gruffalo. We have how many? Three to give away. We have three starter sets to give away today. So that is really generous from Tony's. That is, the starter set includes the box. And also, I'm going to grab it, if I can find one, although Margot's hidden them somewhere. I think it's rolled underneath the... Oh. Margot has little hidey holes where she puts all her treasures, Why the things that she finds around the house that she likes. Oh, there is. So, um, with the starter set, you get the box and you get a creative Tony, which basically means you can put on what you want. You either go on the app and you can, like, um, upload sounds. So, I think this one, we've got lots of French stuff on there. We've got two creative Tonys, one that's got French stuff, one that's got Spanish stuff or you can record your own thing into it so you can like read a bedtime story to your little one for when you're not around. This is the, this is the Spanish one. No, so we have three vouchers to give away. So three winners today. Today's giveaway is hosted on my Instagram. So if you want to enter in to win one of the three Tony boxes, head over to my Instagram, that's sarah.tolton comment on it and the winner will be announced the following day. T's and C's as always are both on the Instagram caption and in the uh, description box in this video. Favourite Christmas song? Oh Jim what's your, in fact why don't we guess each other's because I think I know what yours is. What is mine? Step into Christmas, oh, yeah, it is. step into Christmas people watch the snow like forever and ever. I mean you sung it wrong but yeah that's my favourite one. Yours is um, Otis Redding. Oh, I love that, yeah, White Christmas. Yeah, that is nice. Uh, <laughs> if you could relive one Christmas, which would it be and why? I was about to say last year, because it was Margot's first, but Margot was essentially just like a slug, because she's, she's yeah. three months. And also, Christmas got a bit crazy, didn't it, last year? My younger brother got very drunk. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yorkshire puddings with Christmas lunch, yes or no, that is a no from me. That is a big no from me. Why is it? Why are you so opinionated on that? Um, because I, so you have your, what I used to call when I was little, the extras, because I couldn't say it, extras. Right. Every meal has an extra, like beef is a Yorkshire put beef is Yorkshire pudding, pork you have the crackling. Yeah. Chicken is bread sauce. See, I only recently. Turkey doesn't go with the Yorkshire, that's not an extra. I only recently discovered that you have different extras with different meats. Like I've always just thought a Yorkshire goes on your plate, but, but it only equally, does equally, I mean, beef. Christmas is all about indulgence and decadence, so put whatever you want on the table and fill your boots. Christmas is all about giving, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got one that's not in there, because I love watching them in the lead up to Christmas. Go on. When you watch people, like chefs on TV doing their, like, Christmas... Jamie Oliver or Nigella. Oh, well, that was my question. Is it the Nig... Who would you... Oh, is it the between the two of them? You have to pick one to watch their, like, pre-Christmas... Mm. This is them making Christmas and show you how to do it, Nigella or Jamie. Oh no! I don't know if I could answer that because I 
love them both. Nigella, okay, no, Nigella, she's, Nigella, just because she's a bit, it's boozy. she's a bit out there and she talks nonsense and the micro are they? they? But actually, I think Jamie's recipes are more. His get ahead gravy is, uh, right. is a every year. That is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I know it's a little bit impromptu, but we do have a poorly child. So Hopefully um, she's better it. tomorrow when we can continue with our festive lineup. We'll see. But if not, then, um, you know, she comes first. Sorry. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you very, very soon. Goodbye.